Welcome to our daily devotional. Today, we're looking at Acts chapter 3, verses 4 to 7. It reads this way. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto him, expecting to receive something of him. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Here this man is sitting by this gate called Beautiful, and he's been lame from his mother's womb. He's looking for people to meet his monetary needs. But Peter sees what God is wanting to do. And Peter says, look, I don't have any silver or gold to give you, but I do have something that I can give you. Rise up and walk. We must acknowledge that this was not based on Peter's own feelings. It was not based on Peter's own ability. This was God, the Holy Spirit, inspiring him to move and to speak to that man's situation. It was God wanting to do something for that man through Peter. He allowed Peter to step into the darkness of that man's world and step into that man's uh, environment where for that man there was destruction and there was despair. Peter came face to face with that despair, but only for the purpose of being light and only for the purpose of seeing that man receive what God desired and had for him. Here's my admonition to us today, that we don't just get comfortable with darkness. Now God allows us to live in a world that's full of darkness and he allows us to come in contact with people whose lives have been riddled by uh, all of the horrible things that have happened. There's a whole lot of despair that we come face to face with. But here is why God allows us, his children, those who have the Holy Ghost, to come in contact with it. Because he wants us to confront that despair and he wants us to realize that we have something within us that wants to speak to their need. God does not allow people to tell us about the horrible things in their life or he doesn't allow information to come to us just so that we can say, oh, poor person, I, I wish that wasn't happening. No, he expects us to act. He expects us to pray and he expects us to speak to those situations. We have that ability. With the Holy Ghost that lives within us, we have the power to speak to those things. Here is what I would now uh, encourage us to do. Be the light in the midst of this dark world. The next time that somebody is sharing with you the despair of their life, the despair uh, that's going on, that they have as a result of what's going on in their situation, I want you to consider, what do I have to give? Now, when we ask that question, we realize that of ourselves, we have nothing. But because of the God that lives within us and because of his desire to see every person saved, we have something in us that can speak to their need. So here is what we have to remember. I have something to give. Such as I have, give I to thee. Don't spend time complaining. Don't spend time murmuring. Don't just listen passively and think, oh, I wish that something could be done. No, we are called to actively speak to their situations because of what we have. Don't think that you're worthless. You're valuable to the kingdom and you are God's hands and feet. So be his hands and feet as you speak to situations all around you. God bless you, be encouraged, stay active, don't stay passive, and have a great day, bye.